After the success of electrification in the Bay Area with Caltrain, Metrolink continues to push back on the idea of electrification of its own system here in Southern California. So at Metrolink, we often get asked, why don't you electrify? Metrolink tracks are shared by Union Pacific, BNSF, Amtrak, and the North County Transit District. Metrolink operates on more than 500 miles of track. Nearly half of that is owned by other railroads. Metrolink says they only own 50% of their track, but that still means that they own 50% of their track. Some of this trackage exists on some of the most high traffic lines in Metrolink system, including the San Bernardino line and the Antelope Valley line. The San Bernardino line is also the most popular line on Metrolink system, and they own the entirety of the right of way. The project to electrify the entire Metrolink system just really isn't feasible. Nobody is saying you have to electrify the entire 500 mile system at one time. Starting with very specific targeted segments and doing a certain percentage every year is a great way to achieve total system electrification over a long period of time. And it's what many countries across the world have done. One of the questions we also receive is, if Caltrain in Northern California can do it, why can't Metrolink? Caltrain has a dedicated line where the only trains that operate along that area are Caltrain electrified systems. Metrolink, however, shares its system with multiple freight and other passenger rail operators. While I get the point they're trying to make here, it's technically not correct. Union Pacific does run infrequent freight trains along the Caltrain corridor. I think the point they're trying to make is that the freight companies have argued that they can't run double stack containers under catenary, which is just plainly false. SEPTA does it, India does it, lots of other countries around the world do it. It's been done before, and it's definitely a problem that we can, we can work around. Metrolink's priority is for sustainability and to be environmentally friendly each and every day. Electrification isn't just for environmentalists, it's also for everyone that rides the Metrolink system. It's going to decrease the amount of time it takes to get from station to station, it's going to increase service frequency, decrease the amount of money that it costs to maintain and to acquire new units, and these are all things that are good for the environment because the whole point of Metrolink is to get people off the road. The more people we can get to modal shift from cars to trains is a benefit for the environment. Win-win. In our opinion, it's inevitable that Metrolink ends up transitioning to some sort of zero emissions in the near future. And we're here to say that it needs to be electrification for the benefits listed around screen here, around me, because there's so many of them. And uh, so one more time, if you didn't get it, electrify Metrolink, wires up. Have a good day.